Hello, nerds. Thank you for joining me here on Nerd News Clips. This is the second channel. Uh, this is the place for all of the short form content as well as the individual sections and just generally speaking, smaller things. If you are into the longer form content, youtube.com slash generally nerdy is the place to go see that. With that out of the way, let's get into this. Now let's talk movies section. All right, movies. Uh, we have some follow-ups here as well. Uh, the more Silent Hill action because that Silent Hill broadcast got us a little bit of everything, it would seem. Uh, Return to Silent Hill is going to be a thing. Christoph Gans, the man who was in charge of the first live action movie, not the second one because there's an obvious difference in quality there, but the first live action director, Christoph Gans, is coming back to give us another movie. Presumably, he's going to ignore the second movie, but I don't know if that necessarily will play into his favor because, I don't know, the second movie's not bad. It's actually pretty watchable. So, uh, very little is known about this. This is one of the things in that broadcast that we know the least about. Uh, second only to the Ascension thing that happened over on TV streaming that's like, what even is this? Uh, we at least know this is a movie and we at least know that Christoph Gans is going to be directing and probably taking some sort of writing role as well. Uh, that being said, that's all we know, so let's move into. Uh, Profit is a comic book movie adaptation that we've talked about previously. Jake Gyllenhaal is set to star. That is not the follow-up. The follow-up is that they just got a new screenwriter in Kurt Johnstad. Uh, Kurt Johnstad, you will potentially know his work because he was one of the writers on the 300 movie as well as Atomic Blonde. Johnstad is uh, coming in to replace previous mar writer Mark Guggenheim. Uh, but hopefully that's a good thing. Doesn't doesn't say whether the, the announcement rather didn't mention if this was going to be for a full rewrite, if he's just going to be doctoring the script so that it makes a little bit more sense. He can just trim it down something. None of that information is known. All we know is that the profit movie is moving forward forward just very, very slowly. So let's do that as well, just a little bit more quickly. Next, we have trailers to talk about. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Uh, the next trailer just dropped, and this is very interesting. We're going to be playing a lot with this Quantum Realm. We're going to be getting a lot of Kang the Conqueror, and potentially this is going to be the movie, if you want to believe the hype and the rumors, which we're not going to cover this in rumors, why we're talking about here, but this is potentially going to be where we see how the Shang-Chi and Miss Marvel stuff uh, ties into the MCU at large. So this very well could be huge. Also, uh, rumors are having it that there's going to be a lot revealed in the post credit scene as to the future of the MCU. So this is going to be a pivotal movie, and I think it's going to be pretty decent to watch as well. It's not just going to be all of the all of the meta tertiary things on the side of the movie. This, the, the judging by this trailer, there's, there's going to be a lot of substance to it as well. So I'm, I'm digging, I'm digging that because I felt like Ant Man. Uh, the the last time we saw Ant Man, he was really just there as filler, and this time he's taking a little bit more substantial spot in the MCU, and I like it. Next on trailers, we're talking about Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Um, <laughs> Kevin Bacon, <laughs> what, what? Oh, this is this is just goofy up on top of goofy and a little bit of silly on the side. Oh boy, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I th there's no way that you cannot just smile while watching this trailer. I don't know. Go watch it. If you don't smile, maybe correct me. Tell me I'm wrong. But either way, I dig it. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. We're moving on. Let's talk about some regular ass news. And both of these are, uh, we have two pieces for regular ass news and they're both movies in franchises that uh, we kind of, I personally kind of thought were dying, especially Saw. We are apparently getting a Saw 10 now. Uh, it is going to be a continuation of the reboot story. So maybe it's not going to tie into the original series outside of name only, uh, except it's going to be Tobin Bell returning to the role of Jigsaw. And then there's other uh, outlets that are saying that this is going to be a prequel of sorts where we get uh, the history of Billy the puppet. And so Tobin Bell, I don't know, just a lot of weird and don't really know a whole lot because it just got greenlit. So we will be keeping tabs on Saw 10 as things develop. 
and that's what we got on that. So let's move to our next piece, which is The Conjuring. This is the other one that's like, wow, that series is still going, huh? Mainline Conjuring uh, movie, Conjuring number four has uh, just been greenlit. It is again going to be New Line Cinema. Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga have not yet officially been uh, contracted to return, but uh, at this point it seems like that is more formality than anything. It's just a matter of who's going to get paid what, I would imagine. Um, James Wan and his production company are returning to produce, and yeah, that, that's really all we know because again, this just got green lit, but that is what we have for the movies news section. So let's bust out those recommendations. Movies suggestion for the week, probably my favorite Halloween movie of all time. Halloween, the OG 1978 from John Carpenter. This movie just freaking works. Uh, there's no in-depth uh, conversation about who Michael Myers is. You get the base, you get a little bit of, eh, he's just a crazy old guy at the end of the, like, there is, there, it's enough mystery is left here that it makes it intriguing. Uh, the performances are all solid. John Carpenter directing this movie just is a masterclass in how to do an independent budget on, for a major label or major production company. Just, yeah, it's, it's, it's so great on so many levels, go watch and appreciate some Halloween. OG Halloween. Once again, this has been just a brief segment from the larger episode that has been posted over on the main channel, youtube.com slash generally nerdy. Go over there for the long form content or just subscribe here if you want it in bite sized chunks. Thank you very much for joining me, nerds. We'll see you in the next one. Before we go, though, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.